Hey everybody. Um, those are the buildings that I talked about that Trump built. Those are called Waterfront Square. Okay. Over there is really nice, right? Where I'm at, which is about a block and a half away, we have these areas which are just weed covered and just, yeah, not so nice. This is called Spring Garden Street. Down that way is going to be is Columbus Boulevard, which turns into Delaware Avenue. That is, we need to go down and to the right, and that will take us to Penn's Landing. Spring Garden Street goes all the way up for quite a number of miles. They finished those buildings three years ago, I think. Yeah, I think it was three years ago they finished those 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 uh, buildings, and they're all condos. <coughs> they also built a bunch of condos downtown in the center of Philadelphia c city. Um, those condos really are not full. They range from the cheapest is like. 200,000 up to like I think it was like 1.5 million for just this building uh, I'm gonna have to look those up <coughs> there's a there's a uh, lucky start uh, lucky strike bus Sorry, I almost called it a Greyhound bus because because it looks like it has the Greyhound symbol on it. FedEx, I used to work for them. Actually, I used to work for the one that that, uh, that truck is from. Yeah, that is the Greyhound symbol. Oh, it's going to the casino. Yay, more jaywalking. On up the bus. There's the train pulling in again and leaving. Uh, Egypt is empty again. This used to be a club called Egypt. And then it got a fire. And then they rebuilt it. And now it looks like that they're empty again. That is a performing stage. Way to go, dude. Columbus Boulevard, which is also Delaware Avenue, is really, really long. There's the bridge again. If I wanted to go see Series Mind, I would take that bridge if I had a car, most likely. Those are buildings that are downtown. Those will be in another another video. Festival Pine is landing.
people with loud ass stereos. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Okay, that is a club, which I don't know what its name is right now. River Deck. Okay. The reason why I didn't know its name is because it keeps on changing owners. And that is the building building that I pointed out in the other video. There's a ship right there. Yeah, over there is actually water. O over there is the Delaware River. And we will see that soon. Big empty lot. can't see it but there's actually a train okay well you'll see that part of your screen screen is like yeah like a train just went by I can't describe it there was a train there that was the Paco train and the Paco train or that particular train uh, connects Philadelphia to New Jersey across this bridge you can either drive across this bridge walk across it or take a train all right, this is what I wanted to show everybody um, where I ended the last video. This is a Dave and Busters. And for those of you that don't know what a Dave and Busters is, it's basically one big um, high-tech video arcade place where they have like the newest and, and greatest um, video arcade, arcade games that cost you like two two dollars to play and you get to play it for like two minutes It's a cool place. They have uh, three different restaurants in there. They have a pool hall, plus the arcade. They used to have a virtual reality game. That was pretty cool, but they don't have it anymore. This is one of the small docks that we have, have here. Over there is crud and crime and dirt and debris that builds up in Delaware River. Delaware River needs a good cleaning out. Never go swimming in Delaware River. Never. Ever. I don't care if you are the Toxic Avenger. Do not ever go swimming in the Delaware River. Maybe I'll do a tour of this place one time if they allow me to record in there. <coughs> okay. And this is where most of people's boats are.
I would like to own a boat one day. I would. It would be nice. You know, you cast off, you go out to sea, you tell you, you, you tell land, land people, ah, have your land. I'll be like Waterworld. Kevin Costner. When that movie came out, a lot of people didn't like it. I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was cool. Yeah, like it had a lot of hype. It, it had a lot of hype, hype because of how much they spent to make it. But I thought the concept was pretty damn cool. And it actually raises a question. Um, if humans had to um, had to live live in, in, in or around primary water again, would we start evolving um, certain traits to help us? Like Kevin Costner's character had um, had gills. You know, would we start? Um, getting certain traits to help us adapt back to water. Here's more boats. So out of shape. Yeah, I know. I keep on shoving off the bridge. Okay, we're coming up on Race Street, so Pencil Landing is uh, about two blocks past that. I'm going to stop the recording here and this will be a different part. Uh, the next recording will be like me actually at Penn's Landing. So see you guys then.